Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back, then welcome. In today's video, I have this look for you right here, which is my current go-to glam makeup for nights out, for bars, for dates anything like that where you just want to feel your absolute best. I'm using some of my favourite products right now plus a few new ones that I wanted to try and it's just a whole lot of fun really and this is definitely a look that I've been wearing a lot especially like the skin kind of focus, really super bright under eye, very bronzed, a lot of blush, it's just a lot of fun really so if you'd like to see how to get this look then please carry on watching. I feel like I went to say how I got this look and how to get this look in one and it kind of went woo woo but I hope that you enjoy watching this video and I hope that you're all doing well. I'm sorry that I haven't been as consistent as per usual, but we're getting there, exciting things are happening, which I kind of touch on very, very, very lightly towards the end of the video, but I am going to tell you all about very soon. Peace and love, positive vibes, but yeah, this is my go-to glam makeup. Let me know if you like it, and if you'd like to see how I created it, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Follow me on my social media pages. I am on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all Siobhan makeup is the same handle, come join me, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's just carry on into the video. So I'm just going to start by filling in my brows, I'm taking the Morphe Hazelnut Brow Pencil. I'm just going to fill in the kind of sparser areas of my brow and add some shade to them. I decided I'm not going to do a soap brow, I'm just kind of going through brow phases at the moment. So I'm just going to take the spoolie side and brush up the hairs. As you can see, I don't have any eyelash extensions, which is going to make this tutorial a whole lot easier. And then now I'm just taking the pencil side and I'm just going to start by filling in the brow, starting with underneath, just to kind of like map out the shape that I would like. Okay, and once I've kind of got that shape kind of there, I'm just going to start by filling in the sparser areas of the brow using very like gentle kind of brush strokes. And then I'm also going to go along the top of the brow, trying not to kind of overdo it. And then I'm just going to switch to the spoolie and just brush through kind of what we've got already. That way I can see any areas that I still need to go over and it just helps kind of smooth out that product. Then I'm just going to switch to that spoolie side, brush through the front of the brow so it's got the least amount of product and then just give it kind of one final sort of brush through. And then I'm just going to do the other brow and I'll be right back. Just did the biggest sneeze ever and my eyes are all watery. I'm fine. I think it was just dust. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm gonna take the P. Louise base. As always, this is just my absolute go-to. I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna pop a little dollop on both eyes and then smooth it in with a flat synthetic brush. Got some in my eyebrow on this side, but we'll just pretend that's not there. And then once that's on like the main part, so I'm just gonna keep patting it in and kind of blending it out until it's nice and smooth and even. This takes a little while, but it's definitely worth it. Now I've primed the eyes and smoothed that all out, I'm gonna take the Morphe 350 Supernatural Glow Palette. It's so annoying how with these palettes, I don't know if you can see it on my lights, but as soon as you use it, you touch it and there's like a fingerprint, just a little annoyance. But 
the inside of the palette is obviously the most important thing that's the sheet with all the names on and this is what the palette looks like i think this might be like a redo of the original 350 palette which i never actually managed to get my hands on but again perfect did i say i didn't say it so why am i saying but again anyway perfect neutral palette right here so as you can see you've got some really warm tones some cool tones just an ideal palette and this is definitely something that i would reach for every day which is why i'm featuring it in like my go-to glam tutorial because it has all the shades that i need to create the kind of like easy soft glam kind of look so the first shade that i'm going to take is is this one right here in the middle of the palette which is called how bizarre which is kind of like a mid-toned warm looking brown and i'm going to take that on a sigma e25 blending brush and just pop this kind of into the crease not heavy just kind of so it's there just making sure there's no like big creasing on my lids before i start kind of going in with the shadow and then i'm just going to start by kind of dotting this on the outer kind of edge of the eye just to really deposit that color there to start off with and then kind of slowly bring that across the eye trying not to take it too high up that's my habit i always take my shadows really high up once i started doing creative looks just trying my best not bringing it too high onto the eye area especially if you've got hooded eyes like me doing a little wiggle to kind of smush that in there smush what a nice word smush so as you can see i just really loaded it up on the outer corner just wiggle that into the socket Just taking that all the way through to the inner corner. And now that's on there, I can just start taking a little bit more product and just blending back and forth to smooth that shadow in. I'm not going in circular motions, just kind of like back and forth to make sure it's as smooth as possible. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more on that outer corner to make sure that's really intense there. Now I've got kind of like a chocolate brown splodge on my eye. We're gonna go ahead and make this into magic. I'm taking this kind of lighter neutral, I mean, it's all neutrals, but this kind of beigey kind of shade right here, which is called Sighting, I believe. Yeah, Sighting. So I'm gonna take this one right here on a big fluffy brush. This one is from the Morphe Madison Beer Collection, just a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this to start blending out that chocolate brown. Just loaded up my brush and tapped off the excess a couple times. Just gonna start from the inner corner and with a very light hand, just start wiggling this on the edge of that chocolate brown onto the area that doesn't have any eyeshadow in little circular motions just to start kind of diffusing those edges. And this is a little process, so just be patient and it will come together, I promise. <laughs> And then I'm going to go back to that darker brown shade and just re-intensify that crease starting with the outer corner. And then I'm also just going to slowly bring this in to that lighter shade, which is gonna create a really nice kind of fused blend. Then I'm going to take a different synthetic brush. This one is from the P. Louise Mirror Mirror brush collection. This one is a little bit fatter. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just pop some of the P. Louise base on to the inner section. Not really kind of harsh like a cut crease but just so I've got something more for the shadow to stick to. So I'm going to take a little bit of the base just onto the tip of my brush like a tiny 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 not even a pea-sized amount like tiny 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 and then i'm just going to pop this onto the lid to finish that's probably even a little bit too much very carefully just to kind of tap that in it doesn't go everywhere i don't want it to be like super defined like a cut crease would and then i'm just going to kind of press that onto the lid as if i were doing a cut crease but it's not just it's not going to have a super defined edge you kind of see what I mean. So I'm not kind of like removing the shadow with a cotton bud or anything like that to make it super sharp. I'm just kind of tap that in. Mm -hmm. 
just like that so it's a cut crease effect but it's not super sharp just tap that in so it's nice and smooth okay and then for the lid i'm doing all matte shades so i'm going to start off with the shade up front which is kind of like the shell ivory kind of color like slightly off white it probably looks white on camera but it is like a very very off white shade so i'm going to pop that mainly across the lid and then i might kind of integrate some other colors and i'm just taking this on a kind of fluffy flat shader brush from eek show just going to make sure there's no creasing before we set that down then i'm just going to pack this color all across where we put that base because this is a matte shadow i definitely recommend going in a few times just to kind of layer that up because i feel like a shimmer you can just go in with one layer i'm just going to take a teeny little bit of that darker brown and just kind of smudge that on the outer edge almost in like a winged liner shape Now I'm going to take the super dark brown shadow and I'm going to use it as my winged liner shadow. And I'm just taking this on an angled brush from the Morphe Madison Beer Collection. Any angled brush will do. I'm just loaded up my brush. I'm just going to start by kind of like pushing this into the lashes. And I'm not really worried about like the fallout at the time being because that's why we've done our eyes first okay i'm not going to take that all the way across i'm just going to take it to kind of like where the colored part of my eye ends and then once i've done that i'm just going to tilt my head so i can see where my eye kind of reaches the tail of my brow i'm just going to pull upwards take a little bit more shadow and then pull that back down and then I can add a little bit more where needed. I decided to skip liquid liner and keep the eyes kind of like soft. I am going to be putting on fairly big lashes though. But I am going to pop a little bit of a dark liner through the waterline. This is the Morphe liner in the shade Trendsetter. It's a really warm brown shade, really stunning on green and blue eyes. And just really makes them pop. So I'm going to pop that through the waterline. Moving on, I'm going to curl the lashes. This is exciting because I've been wearing eyelash extensions for the past like two months, so it's gonna feel really weird to curl my lashes, but here we go. And then I'm gonna pop on the Morphe Make It Big mascara. I was actually really enjoying this, but obviously I couldn't talk about it when I had lash extensions because I wasn't wearing mascara. But it is really good for super like thick lashes. I'm just going to go off camera and pop some lashes on. I'm taking the Chelsea Cosmetics Faux Mink Lashes. I know it says mink lashes, but they are faux mink, as you can see. Luxury vegan makeup brand. These are in the style Savage, and they look like that, if you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these on off camera, kind of clean up any mess that I have made, and I'll be right back. Right, so lashes are on. I also took a cotton bud and some micellar water and just cleaned up underneath. It also got rid of the shadow on like underneath that winged liner so it's nice and sharp that way you don't have to use tape i like personally using tape most of the time just because i feel like i don't even have to think about it too much i can just kind of blend and go but this is definitely another method you can do is just blend take a little cotton bud afterwards and clean up any excess shadow so <laughs> moving on to the face i'm going to start by priming the skin with the illamasqua hydra veil this is a really hydrating primer which is perfect for the summertime when you want that really hydrated kind of dewy looking skin of course you could take this into winter as well but i actually really like wearing a hydrating base during the summertime of course if you have oily skin switch this up to whatever products work for you personally i like to opt for products that are more hydrating nowadays okay so it basically comes like a little pot with the little jelly and you just take a scoop of it with a little spoon that it comes with so cute don't need a lot of it and i'm just going to massage that into the skin just like i would a moisturizer so refreshing as well i think this product would be really nice if you had like a sunburn to like calm down the sunburn it has like the texture of an aloe vera gel if you've ever kind of tried that before 
For foundation, I'm actually going to mix a little bit of the Morphe Glow Stunner SPF 30 Tinted Moisturiser. I've tried this, I've done a TikTok on it. I don't know if I've posted that or not yet, but it is coming soon. Spoiler, I quite like it. It doesn't give a lot of coverage, but I feel like it will be really nice mixed with the foundation. This is in the shade Medium Glow 6, and obviously it does have SPF in, so it's perfect for extra protection. I already have a sunscreen on before filming this video, but has SPF 30 in, which is really good. And then I'm going to pop on the Born to Glow Natural Ray Radiant Foundation True Beige. This is actually quite dark, but I'm gonna kind of mix them together a little bit and hopefully it'll make a nice shade. This is a really luminous foundation as well with a kind of good amount of coverage. I feel like together, good combination. And I'm just blending this in with a Morphe contour and highlight sponge. Definitely too dark. I'm gonna keep blending and hope for the best. Hopefully the tinted moisturizer will like lighten it up a little bit as I keep going. Okay, I'm just gonna keep blending and then when I'm done, I'm gonna come back because I'm gonna be here forever. Okay, so I finished blending out the foundation and yes, I look ridiculous. Okay, I'm also filming an IGTV at the same time. My iPhone makes it look so much worse for some reason. I don't actually think it's too bad in real life, but on my iPhone camera, it's picked my whole face up super yellow. But once I have cream contoured, blend that craziness out and then concealed, it'll like all come together. It's a process. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Maple, pop a teeny little bit of the song, because obviously it's super pigmented, and then blend it out into the skin. I'm gonna pop it under my cheek bones, forehead, a little bit under the jaw, and then that's it. And I'm going to do like my nose contour with powder. Then I'm going to blend it out with this Eco Show kind of flat angled kabuki kind of brush. Starting with the jaw. just had my hair done today so there's gonna be orange bits in my hair it's the only problem with having blonde hair okay and then blending out the cheeks now we are looking like a tangerine this is where we fix it <laughs> so i'm gonna start off with the Too faced concealer in the shade light beige yep so i'm just basically going to use this on my chin on that new spot that's popped up my skin is doing bits at the moment because i ate a lot of takeaways on my week off from work and my skin has erupted so that's great i was going to put off filming this video and i thought you know what it's fine let's just film while i have the time so i'm gonna pop some onto my chin onto my forehead under the eyes and then blend it out and then of course under the eyes which is why i haven't taken the foundation right up to the kind of eye area Okay, sorry, I'm filming on my iPhone at the same time. I look so orange in the viewfinder. I don't know if I'm gonna include this in the IGTV because it's like borderline embarrassing. We'll see when I edit it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna blend it out with my Morphe sponge and then for the very like inner corner, I'll use a fluffy brush in a second. And then I'm going to take the sponge with kind of like the excess concealer on it and clean up that kind of patchy line. So just kind of squeeze the sponge so it creates this soft defined surface. And I'm just going to sculpt it out our cheek and bring it down and then just kind of dab that in. Then I'll dab over the whole thing once I've done the other side. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the sponge and then just tap over the cream and contour. Definitely taken away some of the orange, but iPhones are not flattering. <laughs> and then to really brighten that under eye, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 120, pop a teeny little bit just in this very inner corner and then blend it out with a fluffy brush. Okay, I'm just taking this kind of like angled fluffy brush from a Morphe collection. I don't know which collection this is from, but like an angled fluffy brush will be really good. And I'm just going to use this to very gently kind of like tap in that concealer. And then I'm just going to take my sponge and just kind of tap over the edge of it so it blends in with the rest of the concealer. 
lastly for cream products, I'm gonna take the Iconic London Sheer Blush in the shade Rose Riot. I love the other one, I forget the shade name, but I have the kind of hot pink one and I love it. So I'm really excited to try this one out actually. I'm gonna pop a few dots on my cheeks and then blend it out. I love using a cream blush because I feel like it just lasts so much longer, especially when you put like powder blush on top. It really sandwiches it in, you know? And then I'm just gonna take this brush from Sigma, which is the high cheekbone highlighter brush to kind of stamp it into the skin before I kind of blend it out a little bit. I like that colour. Definitely like a no makeup kind of blush. I'm just very lightly going to stamp over it with a blender, not too much, otherwise it'll just take it away, but just a little bit. Now I'm just going to set this all into place with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is my absolute go-to powder. I remember seeing this on YouTube for years and wondering what the hype was about, but it's just the best. It's so finely milled, it makes your makeup look flawless and it stops it looking oily like throughout the day and the night. So I'm just going to bake like under my eyes and then kind of dust it off with the Morphe sponge. I've just got rid of any creasing underneath the eyes. Probably need to get some more of this soon actually. So now I've got a decent amount of powder in the cap. I'm just going to kind of press my sponge into the cap, tap off like the excess a little bit, then into the back of my hand just to smooth this out. And then, I'm just gonna sure there's no creasing already because you, if you're gonna put makeup on top of creases, it's just gonna make it worse. So I'm gonna take the powder and just kind of press this underneath the eye right up to that lower lash line and then down the nose literally where we just put the concealer and then i'm also just going to bake my kind of chin area just because i've got a lot of blemishes in that zone and a little bit on my nose i started during the, doing this during lockdown where you'd have to wear a mask because of the shape of my nose, it would always rub the makeup off the tip of my nose. So I found that baking the tip of my nose really helped. So now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then put on some more powder. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush, going into the powder, tapping off the excess, and I'm just going to powder the rest of my face and then knock off the bake. And we're looking nice and mattified. I'm now gonna pop on some bronzer, which is the Doll Beauty Gimme Sun Bronzer in the shade Medium. I have been using this absolutely non-stop. It's my new favorite bronzer. I know it used to be the NYX bronzer in the shade Medium. This is basically the same thing, but also it's a heart shape. So immediately I love it. I mean, it's also massive and it's lasted me for ages. So I definitely will be repurchasing this. I think this is only 15 pounds as well. So it's a really good price. Nice mirror inside. It's a really nice bronzer. So I'm gonna bronze up the face using this Sigma F25 tapered face brush. Starting kind of at the temples and then pulling towards the center of the face and then at the top of the forehead. So I just kind of like to dust it across my nose. Then just because I'm extra, I'm gonna take a mixture of two blushes, the Doll Beauty Pretty Fly blush in the shade Take Me to the Peach, which looks like this. And then I also wanted to try the Nabla Cosmetic Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Lola, which looks like this, which is like a shimmery pink. I think it'll be a really nice like blush topper. And I'm gonna pop this kind of a little bit higher as if it were where the highlight is. Oh, that's pretty. Now we're gonna set the face. I'm taking the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I've wanted this in my life for a very long time and now I finally have it. This is in the shade Original. I'm now gonna pop some highlighter on and I'm gonna take the Morphe Star Blazer Palette. I'm taking this shade here called Extra, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna take it on a Morphe M441 and just pop it right on the top of that cheekbone and my nose and above my lip. <laughs> Then I'm just going to take the blush brush and just stamp over it to blend it in a little bit more. And then to kind of finish off the look apart from the lips, I'm going to pop that right in the inner corner. I'm taking this on a Peaches PC38 brush. To 
finish off this look, I'm just going to pop some brow gel through the brows. This is the Morphe brow gel, wiping off the excess. It's just going to help to get rid of any powder residue, basically, um, and just give them more of like a glossier look rather than kind of pencil. <laughs> Then moving on to the lips, I'm going to take the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Then for this kind of lip combo, I'm going to take the Doll Beauty My Love Lipstick, which is like a pinky nude, one of my favourites. And then in the middle, I'm gonna pop a little bit of Doll Beauty's Golden Girl. I'm just gonna take my ring finger and just kind of tap out the lip. And then to finish this look, I'm gonna finish off with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. And this is the finished go-to glam makeup look. This is definitely something that I would do if I'm going out and about, which we can do nowadays. And I've kind of used a lot more like new makeup techniques to what I usually do. Like the really light concealer under the eyes. There's sort of no shadow at all or any mascara under the lower lash line. I feel like it just really lifts the eye up. And I used to prefer a very smoky lower lash line and now I prefer no... Um, smoky lower lash line so I think it's just nice to see your makeup kind of techniques trend throughout the years trend throughout the years change throughout the years so yeah I really hope you enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial let me know if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching check out my IGTV TikTok Instagram everything like that it will be linked down below please subscribe if you haven't already it means the absolute world and hit that notification bell so you're there to upload a new video and yeah thank you for staying with me on this journey exciting things are happening very soon which i can't wait to talk to you about so it's all flowing positive vibes anyway thank you so much for watching and i shall see you next time bye